Look, 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 look at that. Errol Spence Jr. was out for almost 500 days. And this is what he's doing to his opponent's faces. That's what I'm going to talk about in this video. What up, Fight World? It's your boy Ego, and I'm back with some more boxing. Make sure you come in, smash the like button. Now, funny enough, I'm the only one talking about this. Errol Spence Jr., you've seen the graphic at the beginning of this video. These are past Errol Spence Jr. opponents from Kell Brook to Danny Garcia to most recently your Dennis Ugas. Showtime got a great show where they did an epilogue. Errol Spence Ugas was the unification that just happened over the last week, right? Now, Errol Spence is battering these guys' faces and making them look like X-Men mutants and all this stuff like that. But one thing that I'm very big on is perspective, which I'll get to in a second. Errol Spence did this off of a layoff of 400 and 97 days almost 500 days out of the ring and he was also plagued with injury so it's not just like he was inactive because he had promoter issues or had left one promoter or one network and he was a free agent and he just hadn't been in the ring he's coming off of trauma or duress where people were really concerned about his eye yet and still he put up the performance now if you join me for the boxing ego watch party and then the replay when they just had last night, Errol Spence Ugas replayed on a week later of the Ugas fight. I actually gave Ugas two rounds when I watched the fight in real time. But upon further review, I only really gave him one round, which was the round six, I guess, based on the whole fracas and mishap with the mouthpiece. But again, I'm big on perspective. I think perspective is everything. And one thing people are not putting into perspective is Errol Spence off of injury. And as I've proven in this video, almost a 500 day layoff. These are the results. This is how he's maiming and making Ugas's face look. That's special. That shows a level of drive. Whatever you felt about the sixth round, it is what it is. But needless to say, Ugas didn't build from that. Now, I know a lot of you guys are also asking the God of boxing talk yo what's the big deal well the big deal with this inactivity coming off injury is that he previously fought off another long layoff and that was before the danny garcia fight as it was widely reported he was in a heinous car accident so his last fight as you guys see on the screen was december 5th 2020 which is the first year the pandemic started we've been in the pandemic for two years his last fight was in 2022 April 16th, as I just mentioned a week ago. So why is this important? Again, that stipulates he was out of the ring, as I've proven, 497 days round to the nearest hold number, and that's 500 days basically. So for comparison's sake, this is extremely important because I distinctly remember when Terrence Crawford, his the fight everyone wants to see is undisputed Terrence Crawford versus Errol Spence Jr. And I remember this in real time when I was doing the Boxing Eagle watch party. They had an image on the screen with Sean Porter as he was doing his ring walk. He had a WWE ring walk and a rapper. And it says Sean Porter, age 34, height. And then one of the key features that they highlighted was his last fight. Pay attention. Last fight was 455 days ago. So... That means Sean Porter was on a layoff as well, but he was on a layoff less than Errol Spence and he did good as long as he could. And then he was stopped inside of the difference. And on that same telecast, they showed Terrence Crawford and his last fight was a month before Errol Spence's fight. It was November 14th, 2020, and it was against Kell Brook. So he too was coming off a lengthy layoff. But again, he just fought sean porter at the end of last year so his layoff wasn't as long as errol spence's layoff so comparatively speaking i think this is something that no one else but myself seems to be talking about but it shows you and it's something everybody should be praising errol spence for because sean porter a guy errol spence had already beaten in 2019 gets the Crawford fight in 2021 years later just like Crawford fought Kell Brook three years after Errol Spence fought him and they matched each other pretty well and Crawford's own team had Sean Porter 
break out ahead and they said he's up on the cards so people are talking about errol spence crawford undisputed but not i've seen even some of the crawford fans or old media fans or whatever and they were hating on errol spence but to me as a true boxing fan i'm impressed that errol spence was on a longer layoff as i've proven multiple times in this video spence was on a layoff longer than both terrence crawford and even longer than sean porter who at least his layoff was closer it was 455 days versus errol spence 497 days 500 days basically but look at the outcome errol spence upon further review he dominated the unification versus your dennis ugas coming off the best career win over manny pacquiao and he did it off a longer layoff and injury versus sean porter and crawford was a competitive fight and they both had more activity or had been in the ring sooner than errol spence jr facts over feeling that's what I'm all about on my channel. And I think Errol Spence, he's owed a lot of gratitude for collecting all the belts on his side. And I, it's just crazy how boxing fans are so emotionally driven and they disguise it as passion where people want to graze over these facts. I'm highly impressed with Errol Spence and what his resolve and his tenacity and his durability is because he's dealt with some things that publicly we don't know some other fighters like in his division sean porter or crawford to have done for and he's getting the outcomes that he's getting despite all odds again a 500 month layoff versus crawford and porter they were neck and neck to the point where it was a super close fight and they had both been more active and not coming off injuries and car wrecks versus errol spence so i think this does need to be noted and again this is why you guys should subscribe to my channel because that's what i do best is put stuff into perspective for you guys i haven't seen anyone else talk about this point in the last 30 days i looked at my youtube analytics and it showed me 50 percent of the people that watch my content for the month of march has subscribed the other 50 percent had not make sure you guys subscribe so i can keep hitting you over the head with these boxing facts so the fact that errol spence jr did what he did to your dennis ugas coming off a pacquiao win and other he was on a win streak and he's a quality fighter who looked bigger than Errol Spence Jr. That's marvelous. And that's something that not enough people are giving credit. However, I have seen people out there hating on Errol Spence Jr. And it's really unnecessary when you break down the facts. Let me know how I did in this video. Subscribe to my channel. In a month. Are you tired of your YouTube videos not getting any views? Well, consider TubeBuddy. I've used TubeBuddy for years to scale up my YouTube channel. Now we're sitting over 200,000 subscribers. TubeBuddy is a browser extension that offers a ton of built-in productivity and time-saving services to take your channel to the next level. Use my link in the description to get started with TubeBuddy and level up your channel faster. We work it. The future is now. The Hibernation 5s by Kenichi Bear. Hybrid gaming and lifestyle headphones. Out of the box, you can connect to any console or PC. Bluetooth ready with a low latency USB adapter, color RGB, and extreme bass mode. The Hibernation 5s adjust to you. Whether you need a gaming, travel, gym, or lifestyle headphones, the Hibernations got you covered. The new Hibernation 5s, link in the description. Customize the way you hear the world. Welcome to the nation.